Hi everyone, this is Mike for thefoblographer.com and today we have another bag review for you. Uh, this is the Think Tank Photo Slingomatic 10. Um, and as you can probably tell by the name, it is a sling bag. Uh, this one is a little different than most sling bags in that uh, you can actually configure it to work with uh, both, well, either or shoulder. Uh, most sling bags are either it goes over your right or it goes over your left and uh, you have to work with however they made it. Um, Think Tank, however, kind of went a, di a different route and made this bag to uh, be able to switch between one shoulder and, up and another, uh, which works great, especially if you're out all day with a fairly heavy load and you want to uh, you know, be able to switch shoulders and, and, and take some of that weight off um, the, you know, the shoulder that you usually wear a sling bag with uh, and kind of transfer it to, to the other. Um, but you know, it's still you know sling bags are great because they give you quick access to your gear. Um, but usually you have to kind of sacrifice a little bit of comfort uh, for that that ease of uh, gear accessibility. So let's take a quick look at this. Um, it's it's the bag itself is relatively complex in its design. Um, as far as the storage solution goes, it's pretty straightforward. So we'll take a look at the overall design of the bag, and then I'll show you the different storage. Um, Compartments and 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 zippered um, storage areas um, that the bag the bag has. So uh, as you can see, it's a relatively tall and slender bag. Uh, this is the 10, so this is the smallest version they make. Uh, but it's still actually surprising how much stuff you can fit in here. So uh, we'll take a quick look at the outside. Uh, if you look at the front and the back, there really is no front and back. Once you and you'll see why in a second. But um, you have a front section here that has, has a zipper. You can fit small documents in here. I have like a charger and a wireless trigger and just some small accessories uh, in this section here. You don't want to put anything that's going to be like really sharp or pointed or um, you know kind of bulbous in here because uh, if you do switch sides, this part will be against your back. So if we switch it to the other side, you'll see that it's identical to the first side. Uh, it even has a zipper compartment. So what the trick is here is if you have it on one shoulder and you want to switch it to the other, you just pull up on this and it's on like a rail system here and you slide that forward. And then the bottom connector piece is also on a rail system. So you just slide that back and now you're ready to go in the other direction. So that's kind of a cool uh, feature. You know, I'm not big into camera and to sling bags because of the fact that I don't like having the load on one shoulder all day. So this really alleviates that problem. Um, a sacrifice of that is that, you know, you, you don't really have a front or a back. So um, you want to be careful what you store in this front compartment. You know, it's small. I think it's really meant for papers and business cards and things like that. Um, so if you're switching frequently, you might not really want to use that pocket too much. Uh, as far as the rest of the bag goes, I mean, that's really the... What makes this bag different is that design feature, um, and it works. I have to admit, it works really well. Um, everything's on a swivel or a rail system, so it's easy to it's easy to switch the bag around. Um, you're not fighting with the bag. It's I mean, you can change it in two seconds and flip to the other side, and you're good to go. Um, so let's take a look at the rest of the bag. So, like I said, there's a pocket in the front, a pocket in the back. Again, there's really no front and back, but we'll just say that for. Uh, sake of the video. On the side there is a long pocket here. This thing is huge. Uh, that's really good for um, what I use it for is my tripod. I stick two legs of my tripod in here uh, and that holds the tripod in just fine. Um, you could fit uh, a lot of stuff in there. You could fit water bottles. I've had um, you know pretty good sized water bottles in there. Uh, and then it's also good to just throw stuff in quickly. If, you do, if you're not using your tripod, you can just throw things in there really quickly. A snack, a uh, small jacket, something like that. On the other side is how you actually access your gear. Um, the front is a small pocket. You fit um, spare batteries, memory cards, things like that. <clears throat> when you open it up, uh, you can see that this is the main compartment for your gear. Um, in here, Right now, uh, I have my 5D, the 7200F4, uh, a 17-40, to 40, and I have a 50mm attached on my 5D, and I also have my 580EX2. 
so I mean that's pretty much my essential kit um, you know that's that's all the meat and potatoes here so um, this bag when I first got it I didn't think it was going to be able to hold all of this but it actually holds more than uh, my retrospective um, that I usually use um, I have the retrospective 10 and it's roughly the same size but this holds a little more gear uh, the retrospective 10 does a better job with the accessories uh, but this I think does a better job of holding this kit um, and also it's, I find it more comfortable the strap on this bag is ridiculously padded uh, it's super super soft and it is really actually really really comfortable to hold uh, all your gear even this gear it's it's relatively heavy load but uh, this pad is super thick and it's really really comfortable to wear this bag uh, I actually like this bag so much that, that I ended up selling my retrospective 10 uh, and now this is my non backpack camera bag I have this and I have the think tank shapeshifter as my backpack because uh, that can hold my laptop and, and just a lot more gear so again this is the think tank photo slingomatic 10 uh, I'm gonna put in a video also probably at the end just to show you how easy it is to um, put the bag on switch it to the other side and then put it back on again uh, just so you can get a better idea of what that actually entails um, but again this has been Mike with the photographer.com uh, feel free to shoot me any questions, leave any comments below, uh, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, be sure to check out the full review at thephilbographer.com, and I'll have the link in the comments of the video. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.